<laughs> Yo, people come back to the fix. Quick fix, that is. It's a boy now here with Ariane Jave. Hi. And a lovely Friday. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I just not laugh. You trying to rhyme? No, no, no. It was a horrible attempt. Yeah. It was, it was a horrible attempt. You doing this whole rhyming thing from the I'll other be, day? I try. You want the artist? It just seemed like everybody can be, so why not me? <laughs> you know? What can go so? <laughs> <laughs> Javiel, Javiel, Javiel. Yeah. Mighty God. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> I want to tell me that from uh, Anyways, we will speak for time. For those who aren't familiar with what that is, Javi, please do tell them. But before you do that, tell them for the love of God. <laughs> 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 sure. Uh, Wick uh, Mix is brought to you by Prison Marketing Consultants. The, the public relations and media platform catering to the Caribbean and diaspora. Quick Fix is also brought to you by Magnum. Magnum celebrating 25 years of dancehall. Quick Fix is a run up of the news that we've missed in the week. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Lick Dung Police Agrong Artist Band. <gasps> Lick Do you know who that is? That's such a disrespectful time. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. But as per The Observer, the police in St. James will no longer approve events that include a performance by trap dancehall artist Eddie G. Bomber, known for a song that seemingly glorifies motorists mowing down cops holding speed guns. Police chief for the parish, Superintendent Aaron Samuels, told the media of the decision on Tuesday after a visit to offer condolence to the relatives of Police Constable Linroy Codner, the constable died in hospital Sunday morning, 16 days after a motorist allegedly reversed, then deliberately slammed into him and he fell several several feet over a precipice before landing in a crumpled heap. I personally will not approve of that artist performing anywhere in St. James. I can tell you that much, said the senior cop, because the emotions that will be evoked by police officers, I don't think it will be right for us losing a member in such a manner and giving support to that kind of song. I don't think it would be wise based on the impact on the St. James society as a whole who are mourning the loss of a police officer in that manner, he added. Ah, <sighs> sad, sad, sad. Yeah, no, I mean, I can understand why the police is just like they mm. won't book or they won't um permit the artist in to perform in right. St. James. Because funny enough, I was having a discussion with somebody. Your mother. <laughs> she always trying not to say the name in the But we know, we know. You will and know what <laughs> we the know. person asked. <laughs> Why not just ban the song? But I'm like, no, you mean the thing is that like the 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 artist is the one that evoked or you know caused like his song. The song itself, mm-hmm. you know, he's the one that created the song. Make it time, so even if you do, even if you don't perform the song, it's you know, the people that might still feel bad say, hey, you're the reason why the art um our colleague is in hospital i don't he died he died he died oh, yeah. because your song encouraged people to lay down police with them speed a gun so i can understand them taking that that approach mm-hmm. to it um i was i was just saying to i want everybody remember we used to talk about music and influence nobody uh, oh <laughs> music is just expression musical mm, expression yeah. i want this to be exhibit a, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> 2 point one, three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay? Mm-hmm. Like it's this this is just a further example of how you have to be careful of what you put out in the universe because you may not have the literal intention to lick down police with the speed of gun, but there's somebody out there is like, yeah, let's do it. And it was this whole thing on social media, mm-hmm. a whole trend, a whole um yeah like a Let's trending make this thing cool. right so you know you have to be careful but i guess this in a way i'm thinking this is going to aid energy by my career like to have the police not book you that's something you know mm. 
that that's a legendary story or a legendary part of his his whole artistry career but you know i can definitely understand and 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 in a way i can agree with the police for doing it to be to be honest for real like you you had a song that's literally encouraging people exactly. to hit people down so unless you probably apologize like make a public apology and probably you know this like try and encourage people not to do that yeah for reals for reals like given you see the consequence of that happening yeah i think that's 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 it they have to take a sense some, some pushback on the viewpoint that the passing of this officer is directly linked to this song i just think that the stance is taken because it hit and no pun intended a bit too close to home mm. that there is a song out there by eddie g bama that encourages it could be said that is encouraging something like this to happen and then you know some actually happened and, right. and as we say probably not even directly linked to the song mm. oh because wait but, just to explain because you're saying that maybe the, the the police being hit down is not necessarily because it may it, not be because of the song, song. yes oh it's just it like a different just, like, it's so like somebody had an agenda yeah um, it was, <laughs> yeah because i'm trying to recall it yeah, 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 like, yeah, this yeah, yeah, this have to do with like speeding pan uh, tour well, road, right people with speedometers i get yeah. that uh, okay so uh, that's yeah. what i'm gonna say more on key okay. for not directly true that true necessarily right with mm. that being said i think something like this was only a matter of time mm-hmm um, because as as the feelings out there that this song is kind of encouraging it, him him himself explains say yo, I know like say he must say me I go lick down police and say me will lick down police girl because I can understand the viewpoint because me you Javi mm. kind of directly <laughs> see something. In relation to like four crip police out mm-hmm. there, mm-hmm. where them stop you for your certain vehicle that you may or may not be driving, that may or may not be a beast, right? <laughs> <I am laughs> and going we are driving to... under the speed limit, <laughs> and then stop. We said we are all up speedometer and say, "Hey, this you did a speed right. when we were not." Mm-hmm. And or the it, ones who are just in the way, like are just literally. In the way. So it's like the man is saying, "Say yo," and, and him said in an interview, "Say yo." And I get the sentiment, say, oh, I'm going to speak, right? It's up to you if you want to be in the road and get licked up. Mm. But speeding is illegal. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm saying, <laughs> me not, me not say no, you know. but me talk about protection of life okay, okay, at the end of okay, the day. Okay. So if you want to play era and then in a, in a, in a road, in a middle of the road, when, when Kara speed, mm-hmm. that's a decision you will have to take, you know, mm-hmm. and live with or not. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not saying, say, you know, for try to catch the, the speeder, but mm-hmm. you must decide if you want to put your life on the line. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If we catch this person speeding on the road, you see me? Mm-hmm. I just, it just bad because we have a group up, the, the fuck the police or the good one, the motor. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, and who just doing them job. Yeah. But I just saw. So. Yeah, and I think the sentiment of that song speak to them type of police. They were just out the road and look food, and I stop people just because of the type of care of them drive. Mm. Fuck them go out. You know I mean? But condolences to you know the family of the police officer that lost his True. life. Yeah, True. yeah. big up Eddie G. Bama. But the the, the, the the decision is totally understand. Yeah, I, I'll say that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair. Yeah, because you're right. Because yeah. he may not. You know, maybe it wasn't even that. Maybe it was a stop because I'm recalling now the incident. Like, I think it was, he was stopping him and they were mm. trying to, I don't know what it was because it was a taxi man, right? I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not mistaken. So I'm yeah. just pretty say, oh, so, say oh, it, 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 the song hit a bit too close to home. Right. And if we, if you are going to perform, it's like, yo, right. like, yeah. we right. don't lose an officer that got hit yeah. by a car. So... Yeah. That intentionally like hitting. Thing, I mean, because yeah. I mean, you know, is it's so unfortunate because you brought up on different perspective. Because I'm thinking, mm. before we never really had incidents of a motorist intentionally hitting. trying to hit a police yeah. officer since the since the song's released too. So I guess maybe that them time within. So I don't mm. know. Mm. But again, I see. 
Influence. Influence. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh boy. Alrighty, let's move on. So Vibes Cartel is now on the mend following a health scare that left him ill while partying at a popular nightclub in Kingston on Monday night. The artist was spotted being assisted out of the venue, sparking concern among fans. Sources close to Cartel have since reassured the public that the entertainer is doing fine after the incident. However, many are still concerned given the artist's ongoing health struggles. Yeah, so yeah. we spoke about this earlier um, in other week yeah. on the podcast and you know, we heard that he was doing okay but of course the visuals that we're seeing if you're a Gaza fan, if you're a cartel fan, uh, you I'd like to think that you'd have you'd have some level of concern, mm. right? As it goes to him actually being or falling ill due to his disease, we're not too sure, but at least right here says doing fine. I'm just of the mindset, say I don't think it's a problem for people to express concern, say maybe it should slow it down. Mm. While yet I understand the man is living his life. Yeah. I'm thinking about yeah. We just above all is glad say he might do all right and I hope say this no cause no setback in, in him overall recovery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From from the a very bad illness. Yeah. 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 I True. concur. Like, you know, just glad that he's recovering from <coughs> mm-hmm. all sources and um from every indication he seems to be, you know on the mend yeah and um hoping that he has our speedy recovery like getting back on kilter getting back on balance um so that you know he can ready up for his grand return to performance and um, performing december 31st yeah but again above it's even above the performance we really mm-hmm. just want him in good health good health yeah. definitely Okay, moving on. So, Akeem Dunbar, who is common, commonly known as World Dog or Facebook Hero, broke his silence and finally shared some words with the public. World Dog was hospitalized after being shot in a Dunkin' parking lot in Miramar, Florida. The incident also took the life of his associate, who goes by the name Joe. On Wednesday, he shared a short message on Facebook thanking his well wishers. Thanks, you guys, for the prayers. Thank you, he stated. So it's nice to finally hear from World Dog. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, it's just a message or, you know. Yeah. uh, yeah. So it wasn't him coming out, but I'm assuming that he's probably still in recovery. Mm -hmm. But glad that he is alive. It's just, and, you know, unfortunately, he lost um, an associate. Earlier reports said it was a cousin, Cousin. but no, it's it's now um, an associate. Um, That must be traumatic to deal with. So, you know, being to have to deal with the loss or you, and you're seeing a friend get shot and killed and right. you being killed, you know, that obviously is a traumatic incident. So hoping that whatever the case may be, that they can at least identify the shooter and killer, um, you know, and justice is served in that regard. And, you know, hoping that Tim can bounce back mm-hmm. and you know do what he does which is his tiktok and instagram it's going to be a difficult time for people who are fans of his and yeah. enjoy the the shenanigans that happen on tiktok with him and Swiss Lee. so you know i can just only imagine it's just a difficult time so really mm-hmm. actually just sending prayers to him and his family and hoping that he is recovered he recover from the injury and that him get the help to emotionally heal from the the, the, the shooting true true mm-hmm. true yeah, man, and, and not only that you know the shooting and and death of a friend mm-hmm. you know so there's a recovery healing process that will have to take place there probably even mentally just for him himself and mm-hmm. probably just knowing say it could have been him yeah it could have been worse, could have been worse. you know so glad to see that him actually you know say something to the people because there are a whole lot of people out there that are of, of course concerned mm-hmm. you see him also um share a message to instagram as well um basically echoing the same sentiment the same, that that yeah. post on facebook so this is definitely good to see and um, hopefully we can see him or not get back to his <laughs> shenanigans on tiktok and, uh, <laughs> i was doing it i really want to say but yeah, yeah I mean, fans, as long as the man just get it. back to yeah the fans him mm-hmm. fans all love it so yeah you know what i mean as i can get back to doing what i'm love to do and the people i'm love to see what i'm doing yeah man definitely 
Good healing to see. energy. Healing energy, man. Legitimately. Man. Well yeah, man. wishes. Well wishes, yeah. Definitely. Shout out yeah. world up. All right. And that does it for Quick Fix. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to subscribe, like, share. Leave a comment down below. All right. So. 